So 2K dropped the patch November 27th and basically it added courts, jerseys, face scans, gameplay, and more. But today we're gonna to be talking about all the brand new face scans and previous face scans that 2K dropped in NBA 2K24. Let's get into it. In 2K24, LaMelo Ball was one of the only, well, LaMelo Ball was one of the only guys to be updated with a player likeness update, a face scan, a hairstyle update, a tattoo added, and as you see, the Feastables patch is added on the jersey in NBA 2K, and that was via the season three patch. So as you can see on the screen right now, LaMelo Ball's face, you see that his skin textures are different, his hairstyle is different, and his eyes, like as far as the iris and everything, it looks a little bit darker than normal. It doesn't look as natural than the one previously, but the face scan, as far as the shape of the sculpture looks a lot better than it did before on his neck the tattoo is pretty dope so as you can see lamello ball is here and he is updated but let's go ahead and pull back and look at the full body attention to detail accessory update or the detailed accessory update of lamello ball so check it out right here lamello i'm gonna spin him and as you can see you do see the tattoo which is fire, bro. It's like ready. But what I do want 2K to do is add the correct Jordan shin pads or shin guards in the game that LaMelo actually wears in real life. A lot of these guys do wear shin guards now with the accessories and we need that in the game. Let's get to the next player that was updated though. The second player that was updated via the season three patch was Jalen Williams for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Check him out. Basically on the leg, we had a tattoo update. Now he did have the Kobe tattoo and a few other tattoos that he had on his leg, but you'd see some fill-ins on the tattoo as far as the in the WTTP that was added to him as well. So as you can see, I had to take off the socks just to go ahead and give you that full view of his legs and what they look like with the tattoo update. So as you know, 2K did some season three WNBA updates and there was a controversy behind the WNBA update scans and the face scans, likenesses, etc., with Lexi Brown. Just leave us out the game if you don't if you don't even want to try. Y'all could at least look at me. Are you and she got in touch with Running 2K and he fixed some things. So now that actual patch dropped. But as you can see, Ryan Howard will be the first WNBA updated player in NBA 2K via the season three patch. As you can see, it looks a lot more realistic. The face looks great, the tattoo on the neck. And what I wanna do is go up close to the Siggies. So what we're doing is looking at Ryan Howard close up with the signatures. And then you go to the True Gum face, you'll be able to see different looks and different angles and visions of Ryan Howard. She does look a lot better. You can tell she was sit in the scan rig and she was set to the point where it looks realistic and lifelike. So let's go ahead and go to the calm face. Look at the calm face. Look at the intense face, chew gum face. And I wanted to turn her neck where you can see the tattoo because I can't spin the actual player where you can see the tattoo on the neck. Now I do have some footage where you can see her moving on the court and have some B-roll where you can see her moving on the court and you'll be able to see and get a better look of Ryan Howard in NBA 2K24 via the season three patch update. So with that being said, I'm gonna turn that chew gum face on to see if she turns. She is not really turning for nothing, fam. I don't understand why she's not turning, fam. But there is Ryan Howard right here. She was updated in 2K. Let's go ahead and pull back and look at the whole full body look. I'll, I'll go ahead and turn it to the side. And as you can see, there is a tattoo behind her earlobe, right, right up under that area. She's tatted, long hair. I mean, accessories look to be on point. It seems like they did it right. I'll have to go and double check and see if the accessories are right. But yeah, Ryan Howard was updated for the dream. Let's get to the next player that was updated via the season three patch. Now we have Nas Hillman for the dream that was updated as well in the WNBA update via the season three patch. As you can see, it does have her looking like herself with the braids, with everything that needs to be done. And the face scan technology, like I said, is always up to par when it comes to 2K. So the WNBPA had a lot to say and things got done on 2K's merit to fix things and fix face scans. So if we go down to the chew gum face, we can get that close up look of Nas Hillman and you can see what she looks like. It's she looks close and, and looks like a real human being. Like I said, you can see the blemishes, things look great. You know, females always, females beautiful, Bruh. et cetera, you know. But yeah, there you go, female here doing her thing. She was updated via the season three patch. Let's get to the next player though. Ileana Rupert was updated via the season three patch for the dream as well in 2K24. And as you can see, this face and the body and everything looks to be exactly like the way it needs to be. Yes. And let's go ahead and go up and get the close up. Let's go to signature and check out 
about the Siggy and see what that face is hitting like. Now we're in the signature part of it and getting a close up of Ileana Rupert and Ileana Rupert looks great. The thing I like about it is the, how they got the edges and the baby hairs laid in the top and that is attention to detail when it comes to a face scan and getting a character right or getting a player likeness right or face scan in NBA 2K24. And with the technology evolving, things are just gonna continue to get better in 2K. I'm gonna turn that chew gum face on to see if she moves her head this way. I don't, she's not even doing it, bruh. So now I'm gonna look at the intense dunk face and I'll turn it to the other, it's calm. And yeah, it it looks crazy, bro. Like, I don't know why they're not turning their head left and right, because they normally would turn their head left and right where you can see the actual profile and you can't spin it. So that's the crazy thing, but it does look pretty good. I'll show you some in-game B-roll and gameplay on the screen where you can see it. As you can see, this B-roll and gameplay looks wonderful. And Ileana Rupert was updated in NBA 2K24 via the season three update. Let's get to the next WNBA update. Let's get it. So Maya Caldwell was another person with a brand new face scan in NBA 2K24 via the season three patch. Maya Caldwell for the Indiana Fever, as you can see, braids, color of the braids, everything look right, face scan, eyebrows, etc down to a T. We have the close up of Maya Caldwell on the screen as you can see. And yeah, if you just look up close, if you just look at it up close and personal, the sculpt, the face scan, everything is on point. It looks great. And I can't say much more than looking at the chew gum face and getting some different angles and profile looks of her. And check it out right here, bro. It looks, looks pretty good on point, on cue. The intense dunk face that you see, I don't know why WNBA players don't turn left and right for some reason. I know that NBA players do it, but the WNBA players maybe just don't have that animation within there where you can see the side sculpt, but I'll go out and I'll go to the side where you can see the sculpt of the actual skull, the body, look, the body type, et cetera. She got some big feet though. Bruh. Anywho, let's get to the next player that was updated in this update. We have Victoria Saxon that was updated to NBA 2K24 via the season three patch for WNBA updates. And as you can see right here, it's a real looking situation. It's a real deal Holyfield situation going down to the signatures. Now, as you can see the super duper close up of Victoria Saxton for the fever in 2K24 via the season three update. And as you see, you look at it, it looks realistic. It has the blemishes, the marks, the actual baby hairs or whatever you want to call them. They look good. The hair color's blue braids, etc. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the chew gum face though, and go ahead and just try to see a different profile and different looks and expressions on the face. And it does look amazing. It looks great, looks good. And I used to go over the WNBA stuff, but now we're back going over everything. I'm, I'm even gonna go over the older stuff that I didn't get to go over on the channel because I know so many people count on me heavenly to go over this stuff and to get this out so you can see what was updated for last and new gen for 2K. Nalissa Smith was updated in NBA 2K24 via the WNBA season three update. Now, what I wanna look at is everything on her. Let's go ahead and get the side profile. I'd rather do that first. Check out the side profile. Looks great, hair looks great. Has that actual head tie, the ninja head tie on her head as far as the accessories. Now, as we get the close-up look up close and personal in the signature tab, we're gonna go ahead and look at this right here. Yeah, she looks like herself. Like the one before, it looked nothing like her. The previous one didn't look nothing like this, but if you're a huge fan of WNBA players and you're a fan of her, boom, she's in the game. And if she sees this, boom, you're in the game. It looks great. Turn the chew gum face off and just get that subtle look. Tense face looks good. Yeah, I'll give you some B-roll on the screen too to see exactly what she looks like. And you can see what she looks like in game crossover via the gameplay of 2K24 on new gen and boom, that's it. Here she goes. Let's get to the next player that was updated in the season three update. So now we have Christy Wallace updated in NBA 2K24 for the WNBA gang. And as you can see, looks great. It looks way better than what we had before because it was just some generic cap. And this looks great. Um, this is giving me hope that it's gonna be more player likeness updates. The Ant-Man update is the update that I am looking for. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you are looking for the Ant-Man update. That's the one that we need more than anything because he's actually a good player and he matters in the NBA. So let's go ahead and look at Christy Wallace. I'm sorry, I got off. My bad, my bad. Now let's go ahead and go down to Siggy's. Look at the close up and look at the face of this WNBA athlete and Christy Wallace right here as you can see. Looking great. Turn that face on real quick. Let her chew her gum real quick. Yeah, looks great. Let's get to the next player. We have Maureen Johannes that was updated in this NBA 2K24 WNBA update. As you can see, uh, her lips are red. You can see things actually kind of sticking out like makeup and things that were added via the scan. Or if they did this, 
some other way. So Maureen Johannes is in 2K and as you can see her makeup is actually here. You can see like foundation. You can see that her lips are pink, which I think that's what Lexi Brown wanted to do was just go and try to get her best glam look, but you know, you know how that, that works. But this one made sure, this, this woman right here made sure she went in to the rig and she looked really decent and looked pretty good, you know, with her skin or whatever. But let's turn the chew gum face on and check it out and look at it. She looks great. Chew that gum, girl, chew that gum. And we're gonna go up to the intense face. As you can see, 2K will sit you in the rig and make you make all these different face expressions and you'll get them throughout the game, throughout via the animation of the face. So this looks great. I'll show some B-roll too on the screen where you can get that. You can see exactly what she looks like crossed over into gameplay, which is amazing as well. Now we'll go to the next player and see what they look like. So our next WNBA player that was updated in that patch for season three was Nayara Sabali, and she was updated with a brand new face scan added to NBA 2K24. So let's just check that out. She is in the game. As you can see, her face is here. The scan looks good, man. The scan looks phenomenal. I think it's a great looking scan. And as you can see, it captures those baby hairs or the hair, whatever, the, whatever that is, it captures that smoothness over. And as you can see her face to the point where everything is there picked up by the scan rig. So this is the close up. Now, when I turn that chew gum face on, you see her chewing the gum. You see, yeah, you see that. I'm gonna turn it off. Go up to intense dunk face. Go for intense, go for calm. And then boom, as you can see, she is here. Now, what I do want to do is look at the actual body, the whole full body part of it. And as you see, here is the body. Don't look bad right here. She does have accessories on as well. So let's go ahead and spin that. Check her out, Sabali. And uh, yeah, Nayara Sabali looks great. Let's get to the next WNBA player. Let's get it. We have Jocelyn Willoughby that was added to the game via the patch for season three. And as you can see for the Liberty, here she is right here with her braids. And I like getting that side profile just to see exactly what this is and exactly how the actual model looks from a body standpoint and a face scan standpoint. And she looks amazing, bro. She looks dope. Looks like herself looks real let's go to the siggies as you can see jocelyn on the screen right here up close and personal it's some about the toothbrush baby hair method is right here bro it looks crazy let's turn that chew gum face on just to go ahead and get the look yep you can see everything looks good nothing looks out of sync everything looks in sync everything looks like i say that scan rig is crazy especially if you can see the pores and everything in the face bro like it looks pretty good wnba players out there wnba fans you got an update let's get to the next player and we have another player by the name of Nikolina Milicic that was updated in the WNBA part of season three's patch update. As you can see for the links, she's here. Milicic is doing her thing. Let's look at the body. The body does look good. Everything looks good, man. Like everything is in portion. And that's the thing I like the most about how scans and player likeness updates and bodies and stuff are is then things are in portion and things look good. The head doesn't look too small. The head doesn't look too big. But yeah, her face scan is here. Let's go ahead and go to Siggy's real quick though. So here's a close up of Nikolina Milicic in 2K. And as you can see, the scan is here close and personal you know what i'm saying looks great let's get to the chew gum face though and i can't really say it nothing's looking bad because it really doesn't look bad like if it looked bad then i say it looked bad but this looks good to me man especially the eyebrow arch all that stuff is on point chew gum face on you see different angles let's go up to the the intense dunk face and check out the intense dunk face yeah scan rig did his job did his business you know what i'm saying anywho now that is that let's get to the next update so on October 24th, 2K dropped the remainder of players that they didn't get to add in via the patch update. They did it via a main menu update, via a server update. And I'm gonna go ahead and go over them. Now this channel likes for me to go over them and I never got an opportunity to go over those players. So let's just go over those players real quick, briefly. Let's get it. Now check out Imani Bates. This is him updated. This is his player scan. And we're gonna just skim through these quick where you can see them with a little B-roll and let's just get to the next guy. Let's get it. The second player is Jordan Miller for the Clippers. And his face scan was added to the game via a main menu, via a server update. And what I wanted to do is just show them on the screen. Now, if you want me to go over these and just break them down like I normally do in normal videos, leave it in the comment section below and subscribe right now for more NBA 2K and sports game coverage when it comes to this type of content. Let's get to the next player though. Seth Lundy for the Atlanta Hawks was actually added with a new player scan in the game. Now, I wanna go ahead and go over Seth Lundy because he has a unique look I'm going to throw some B-roll on the screen when you guys can see it and you guys can know exactly what's up and how he looks and with this detail accessory update. Now, let's go ahead and go to the next player. 
The Amari Bailey for the Hornets was added as well over the main menu server update for 2K on opening night. And I just need to go over this real quick. Now, check out some B-roll of him. And we're just going to go ahead and get some details and look at it and just see what it looks like. And I think it looks dope. Now, let's go ahead and go to the next player. Jalen Slauson for the Sacramento Kings has a new player scan, a new face scan that was added to NBA 2K24 via the season tip-off update. And it was over the main menu, like I said, with the other ones. Check him out real quick. I wanted to show you this. Get you some close-up B-roll. Get you some fancy, smancy B-roll. You can see that. I think he's dope as well. I think most of these scans look great. I think they look wonderful. Let's get to the next scan. Harry Giles II for the Brooklyn Nets was added back to NBA 2K via the main menu server update. As you can see, he looks pretty dope. He looks good, and I will throw B-roll on the screen. You can see him as well, and you can enjoy that. Now, I want you to look at that. Let's go ahead and go to the next guy. And now we have Oscar Toshibwe that was added to the game via the main menu update, via the server update in NBA 2K. And as you know, he has a face scan dropped in the game as well. Now, if you say, I'm gonna say this one more time. If you guys want me to go over this, leave it in the comment section below if you want me to go ahead and break these guys down in their own separate video, because I wanna go back and go over some scans that I didn't get to go over for old gen and new gen and break those down for you like I used to. Now, let's go ahead, look at some B-roll of him, and let's get to the next update. Isaiah Wong for the Pacers was actually dropped in too as well. We have a new player scan that was added via the night of tip-off. Now, this one looks really dope. This one looks good, very unique. I'll throw B-roll on screen. You can see him as well. Let's just keep checking it out. Let's keep breaking these down and getting through these briefly. Let's get to the next freaking player. Let's get it. Keontae Johnson from the uh, OKC Thunder that was on 2K TV with Alexis Morgan was actually added to the game as well via the main menu server update. And let's just check him out, bro. This guy just needed to be added to the game because he was sitting with Alexis Morgan. And you know if they're sitting with Alexis Morgan on 2K TV, nine times out of 10, they're scanned. Let's check out the B-roll. Let's look at the player likeness. Let's look at the player model. Now let's go ahead and go to the next player. As of November 7th, 2023, G Santos was added to NBA 2K24 via a server update, main menu update, via the previous patch that was dropped in November. Just check him out real quick. He was somebody that needed to be in the game. He's a highly sought player. But subscribe to the channel, guys, if you like things like this. More to come. Check out these other videos if you want to catch up on previous day breakdowns, updates, face scans, etc. with 2K, Madden, etc. All those good games, man.